on this date in Road Runners history. For the third straight day, we feature Road Runners baseball versus Regis University. This time we go back nine years at the Old Auraria Field. Metro State piles up five runs in the second inning. Brennan Brown doubles in Evan Kloss. Then freshman Ty Hancock goes deep for a two-run shot. Zach Kruger then sends this pitch all the way to the wall. And one of the all-time Roadrunner greats, David Fox, he finds the gap to bring in another run. The home team is up big after two. The Rangers had base runners with five hits and five walks, but Jake Deneffel was too busy gunning them out, firing darts to second. Bradshaw Perry was dealing from the mound, earning his fourth win on the season to earn the complete game shutout. On to game two, and Corey Collins started for the red and blue, and he pitched well, giving up just three earned runs and five and a third, striking out four Rangers. Collins got a little help from his friends on defense, getting the double play. It's one to one in the fourth, when Hancock comes through with a sacrifice fly to give his team the lead. Then Kruger makes it a two-run advantage, connecting on this home run in the fifth. He went three for three in this one. The Rangers would tie it at three in the sixth on this Dave Holland base hit. But Metro State would respond after an Evan Kloss double. Robbie Nichols drives him in for the go-ahead run. Ty Jacobs seals the deal in the ninth, earning the win and giving his team the 4-3 victory. On this date in Road Runners history.